Today is the day we take Mr. Grant to the surgical center to get an ultrasound uh, to check out his gallbladder, see what's going on there, and um, see what we do next to get his liver enzymes down. If nothing's wrong with the gallbladder, I'm assuming they're going to do a Cushing's test. So they won't be able to do that today because the Cushing's test, the initial Cushing's test takes, uh, <laughs> Mr. Grant just saw a big black bird flying by. He's like, what was that? <laughs> um, takes pretty much all day. So today I'm assuming we're just getting the ultrasound done to the gallbladder and see where we go from there. So, yep. And the hard part is I can't feed him breakfast or lunch. <laughs> And he is so excited in the morning to get his breakfast, and I feel bad uh, that I couldn't feed him. I put him in his crate, shut the door, had the fan on in there, because we sleep with a fan on. And uh, since his hearing isn't the greatest, I was hoping having the door shut and having the fan on, he wouldn't hear the other boys eating, because I feel so terrible <laughs> when a dog has to fast and I can't feed him. So, yes. So he's got to wait till he gets home. His appointment's at 2.45. I'm assuming we'll be there at least an hour, hour and a half. Uh, maybe longer, depending on how busy they are. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be miserable, and he's going to be begging me to eat. Yes, he is. Oh. <laughs> I've got to, um, before we go to our appointment, I'm going to groom down the bulk of Max's hair and the bulk of Marley's hair, because I did not do anything yesterday. I mean, I did stuff but I didn't groom dogs. So I'm gonna get the bulk of their hair um, cut off them before the appointment. And then when I get back, I'm gonna give them a bath and finish up all the finishing touches uh, for them after Grant's appointment. So, all right guys, let's go in. Let's go in. Yes, Mr. Grant thinks he's getting fed. Oh, I could just cry. <laughs> I could just cry, Grant, because I can't feed you. I could just cry. Oh, all right. We'll get through it. <laughs> we'll get through it. Yes, we will. All right, guys. We are back from the vet. Um, Mr. Grant had to have a CT scan. Um, where's Mr. Grant? Where's Mr. Grant over there? Had to have a CT scan, which that took about an hour, uh, hour, 20 minutes. Um, so he had a CT scan. Yes, he did. Oh, I forgot. We got to take your bandage off. They said we could take it off when we got home. I forgot. I forgot, Grant. Yes, I did. Okay, so Mr. Grant has some things going on. Um, uh, these bumps over here on his side... She was really concerned about one that really felt hard. Um, so when they did the CT scan, check those out. One is a, a what is it called, lipoma? Uh, just like a fatty, a fatty um, bump. And one is actually full of blood. Um, my vet told me they were all fatty lymphomas. Um, so I don't know, can a fatty lymphoma then turn to all blood? I don't think so. Um, so I'm not happy with that, because if you remember, when Mr. Grant had his toe issue, they um, did x-rays and all that. Magnum, leave him alone. Whenever one of the dogs goes to the vet, they, they just can't stop sniffing that dog that goes because of all the smells. <laughs> um, if you remember, they sent that off to a radiologist and they told us, oh no, he don't have cancer in his toe. And then come to find out, he did have cancer and um, we did, Marley, Marley, get away from there. Sorry guys. Like children, you got to yell at every now and then <laughs> to stop being naughty. Um, yeah, so he didn't get his, he didn't get his toe taken care of as soon as we could have due to their mistake of reading that, the radiologist reading that x-ray wrong. So. Um, I'm not happy, and I'll be finding a new primary care vet. Um, 
Uh, anyway, so the CT scan showed um, early gallbladder mucosal, which that's what um, Mozzie had. He had a mucosal and had to have his gallbladder taken out. Um, we're trying Mr. Grant with Ursidoil first um, to see if that helps with the sludge in his gallbladder. He has enlarged abdominal lymph nodes. Sus, they suspected he has pneumonia, and we already knew he had a heart murmur. So he's on a prescription for the suspected pneumonia. This is what he has to take, two tablets by mouth every 24 hours. And then they also prescribed him the Ursid oil, which that's what Mozzie takes um, since having his gallbladder removed. So half tablet, just like Mozzie every day. Um, so yeah, she's sending um, the CT scan out to a radiologist since he has some issues going on with that bump. Uh, the lymph nodes being enlarged. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm not going to freak out though. I'm going to wait until she calls me after the radiologist looks over the CT scan. Um, yeah, as soon as she felt that one bump, she said, I'm kind of worried about this bump. So she didn't really say much about it except that it's full of blood. So yeah. <laughs> I was hoping the worst today would be just that, oh, he's got to have his gallbladder out. Um, but now he's got a bump that's full of blood. He's got some enlarged lymph nodes by the by his abdomen. I don't know how he got pneumonia. Um, yeah, so I'm a little worried. I'm a little bit worried um, about the, what this radiologist is going to say. She said she thinks they should have the results by Monday, probably. Maybe Friday, but probably most likely Monday. So, um, so we'll just have to wait till then and, and find out what's going on. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to get into worry mode over it, though. No, I'm not, Mozzie. No, I'm not. Oh, just in case some of the people like to know um, how much all this costs to get done. So I'm going to share that. Um... This is everything with the medications. They did a urine test too because my vet also said that his pee was mostly water. I can't remember what the index was, um, the number, but she said that was a lab error. That was not true. His pee is fine. Thank goodness. So that's another issue with my vet and why I'm changing. Um, so, and then here's the, here, I'll try to get it together with the price. So that's what our bill was today. Yep, so so hopefully Monday we'll know what's going on with this guy. Yes, and I'm going to tell you what. He had to be put to sleep for his CT scan. And let me tell you what. He is so, he is a good dog. <laughs> he acts so normal. Doesn't act crazy like my boys do after they've been put to sleep. No, he's just ready to go and he's been bouncing around and wanted to eat. He's just, yeah. <laughs> You recover from being under anesthesia very well, Grant. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Gave him a little bit of food when we got home because he couldn't eat all day. And boy, oh boy, that was rough not feeding him. He wants to go back in and get some more. He's like, it's almost dinner time. <laughs> That's why I just gave him a little bit because I knew here in about 45 minutes I have to feed him dinner. So I didn't want him to get sick or anything. Um, yeah, but he, he does awesome after being put under. <laughs> My other dogs are just like whiny and like half out of it. Mr. Grant's like raring to go. Yes, you are. You're like, you're like, I could walk three miles. Yes. <laughs> can't though. If you got pneumonia. No, can't walk that much. No. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, got to get their dinner made. Got to get us fed. And um, we will see you guys in the next video. Uh, not sure if I'm going to have one Friday or not. We shall see. Um, but I will for sure, if I happen to get his um, results from the radiologist back Friday, I'll for sure have a video 
um, and to let you guys know because I know you guys are going to be waiting to find out what's going on just as much as I am. So um, we'll see. We'll see how the video go, videos go uh, the rest of the week. But I will definitely let you guys know and keep you informed. All right, guys. Hope everybody's having a great week. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.